Okay, hello everyone. So good evening everybody. Regarding the tutorial which we discussed concerning the database management system, which is Mr. Judeza. So this is the project in which he asked us to do. He said we should choose any of the project which we like that at least has a database system soon as we do. So I thought of building so that we do a full dream website app which has a database system and that is what we come up with this so sorry it came like because i was trying to do all of that stuff so that it will work out perfectly so there is like the front and back end system you know in the web development or in the software development we have both the client and server side basically for the system also it has the client and server side although we didn't work i didn't work more on the server side sorry on the client side in which to make it look how beautiful it is or how amazing it is so it's just basically the client side sorry it's basically the server side on just the database and other kind of stuff so on here we have the projects and we have the your migration styles in which we created on the purpose of this website we use different kind of languages but the main language we use here was the python the python is the base language then all others uh just assisted languages and libraries in which we initiated the library in which we use on the python project is what we call the django if i talk about django it spells d j a n g o it's a django library it's a framework in python in which is quite assisting this the server side of a web application so that was what was able to that was to come up with this so we use the front end that is here you can see the html html languages then you see the python you see the html and here are your different migrations in which you run before the website will come to life in this place we are going to start the app you look at you can just use your old s12 to start the terminal in which we use and run the app so with this now we run the app we say python money dot py run server so this is sorry i'm going to break it down it's just for the purpose of the exam that I'm just doing this, so I selected just questions and other kind of things in which we do. So this is just the home page, and there is nothing more beautiful. I just want to explain the database or things in which we need to know about the stuff. Here you have the about, but there is nothing there. No, nothing about the server side or database are in there. So the main point of view is where we come to our menu where you add to cards and you view your cards and other kind of stuff so once in normal websites once you add something to cards this is where it will be viewed this way to be viewed although i've added something before that is why it's like this so you can reduce the price quantity and uh, all these things change or click once you click on them immediately the price gets updated so it's, a, it's an um, the JavaScript event or click listener has been initiated there. So directly you click on the checkout button, it carries you to your checkout and you put in your details and it carries you to continue and carries your payment in the future. So then you pay to the aspect in which you like. So all these things here, like if I'm to put my details here now and I click continue, the paper option is supposed to activate or it's not yet activated then it will go to the final tab but ordering and delivery information is supposed to be saved in the database also your login details are also supposed to be saved in the database so regarding that that is what 
we'll just click into and and get to it so let's go to at the server side now the server side we customize it as admin so although maybe the next time i'll tell you how we create the admin pages and the kind of password or things in which we use it's not be this time around again maybe the next time we'll be doing the the main project effects so here yeah, i can use already i've created my login details already so that i'll use an update here you have groups on which you admin like who are your admins for now we have like four to five admins on this website which i use as a test you understand i use as a test so you can add remove them all these things are specific in a database also here you have your customer details you understand like people in which they have ordered and their details so if you want to check a particular details of a customer this is where you see it. let me see anybody that log in or that the you understand what it is now like you create an account you log in so these are where your details of your customer is and these are your other items like what people order on a daily basis and these are your orders what what people bring up that means once a particular person order it gives it different ideas of what a primary key of what everybody's order at everything then these are your products let me just simply do something on this product now so imagine on the website you can see something like rice and menus there so these are where you can add your product i can come here and change the prices of where these things are on the normal website you don't see all these things because these are the server side areas that is really for specific users like the admin that can do anything so we can do and you can also add new products to it like if i want to add a product like meat you just type the name and let me see the price you can see 500 naira then choose the image in which you want to use then you save it and add another one so that is that for that then the shipping address the shipping address is means if i have a complete order this is where the address of anything anybody order is going to be stored so that is for the admin panel now all these things have been saved why we can see them here is because they have been saved in a an admin panel the admin panel in the course of this project i use a database that is a popular um, database language which is my sql so to in case you are being asked that what were the languages in which you use in for the database i told you my sql my sql to open my sql we have our db browser sorry i've already opened it i was supposed to open it so that we see it so we have our db browser where we have i created different tables that is every entity and object linked together so that it will give us a particular unique database now i brought out because of time i brought out listed questions possible questions in which we can go through them before we get to well we get ourselves ready for the exam so the possible questions here for now uh like for the first one you say describe the database schema you designed for food ordering website yes that is if you are being asked something like that the schema the schema is just something like an architecture what does it consist of it consists of as we can all see it has the user the restaurant the menu items you understand like the restaurant meaning something like the name in which you saw something like chow the menu items orders that is what people get and other details so this is just like an architecture of it then what bring of this architecture the data base as a whole is a bunch of collection of data these data are based on entities and objects so each entity has a specific attribute to capture relevant information yes each entity we have here entities are just like the user the quantity and everything listed in our er diagram that is our entity relationship diagram now 
each thing we have in the box here something like the password email and user and everything has it relations are you getting me as six entities relations which is being described using the arrow sign so the line sign directed to each entity so we can now say that each entity has a specific attribute to capture a relevant information now if you have been asked what entity did you identify in your database schema and what are their attributes so simply still your the users restaurant menu items orders and other things are still your basic entity do you understand so if another question there that can be asked is explain the relationship between different entities in your database schema the relationship between entities so the main relationship or the main attribute in which we need to that are being important in an entity relation diagram is we have the data integrity and normalization that time credit so data integrity is just something like what we deal with um, it's something like data consistency that means having a single primary key you have to be consistent to you when you get to the end of your product that means if i use a single primary key or something like of a username it must be consistent till when you get to the end of the even continuously as if we keep using this so that is what we have we have data integrity and normalization in which there are the two relations and how do you ensure data integrity and your database so if you have been asked something like that you can see everything is it you see by following the principles of data normalization and data integrity surely and data normal database normalization you break each tables you break each each entity and attribute into different form that is you break them down into data and a logical and manageable component just the way it's been done here you see that every details of everything showing here that you have the password everything is being broken down into particular so another thing here is what are the users authentication and authorization so how do you implement users authentication and authorization in your food ordering app yes in case you have been asked something like this a database surely must have must have authentication that means like just imagine in this database when anybody something like a junior website now anybody can log in and it doesn't that is in a big database that anybody can log in and there's no password or nothing for it so a database like this in the course of our project we're able to create authentication that means before anybody logging into our admin panel of our database there is there must be an authentication now if i remove any of these details you see that it tell you wrong details or if any of these details is being missing so it's going to be a wrong detail so that is the same thing for so if sorry if we you have been how do you implement so you say user authentication authorization will implement and using combination of techniques including yes password hashing and secure session management sorry let me explain this password hashing a little bit now the way we see our details here now this moon line which you see here the password is just about i think five six letter words here but once you go to the real database and we check our key for user authentication you see that there's password hashing it translates that primary key sorry that password of just of just six letter words into 168 digit in which is the ASCII attribute so that is what we call hashing that means nobody even the database admin does not know what is your password if your password is missing there can be other procedures in which you say forget password so look at Muna here username but checking the password now you see that it has an special characters in which that 
the characters that is our six letter was is being transcribed into 168 characters that is what we call it's also a, a password security in which we call that is why we say password hashing that is what we call hashing in database and secure session management root access control we store user credentials securely in the database yes every credentials we have here or we created have been stored in the database which we can see here every credential we stored and the date time and th time stamp have been listed so there's nothing missing that every user has been stored in the database so let's continue so we now say describe the tables and fields related to user management in your database okay well, if the, you have been asked that what are the tables and fields being described so if we have seen employing something like the bycrypt hashing, you understand, it's still the same thing, something like the password hashing. So, is on your database anything related to password or I mean a sensitive information that users on user discretion, it should be done with the bycrypt hashing, just like the way we do for the password now. So, even for customer details and all of that thing should also be done using the hashing so if you also ask what security measures do you take to protect user information and credentials okay you can say unauthorized access what security measures like as we explained that time that if the user or or he has a wrong password or something you see that it's not go through it's not go through the database so that is the that is the first point of the this thing. So I think I will continue in the next. Let's just check the next video. I don't want to make it too long.